the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in our show. show. So this morning, we commemorate St. John. I say Maximovich, and I hear people say Maximovich. I've got to ask a Russian speaker, which is closer? Irina? Irina? Oh. Is it what's closer to the Russian? Max, Maximovich or Maximovich? Maximovich? Okay, I gotta start calling him St. John Maximovich, okay. The Holy Hierarch John Maximovich was born in the Kharkov region in 1896 and reposed in Seattle in 1966. During the Russian Civil War, his family fled to Belgrade, joining the ranks of Russian exiles in Serbia, where he later became a monk and was ordained a priest. In 1934, he was made Bishop of Shanghai, where he served under the con until the Communists came to power. Thereafter, he ministered in Europe, serving in bis as Bishop first in Paris, and then in Brussels, until he became Archbishop of San Francisco in 1962. Throughout his life, he was revered as a strict ascetic, a devoted man of prayer, and a truly wondrous, unmercenary healer of all manner of afflictions and woes. And we saw that yesterday with St. Cosmos and Damien, the unmercenaries, what does this mean? They give without pay. They're called to bring healing into the world, and they do it. And St. John did that as well. He served the divine liturgy daily, slept little more than an hour a day, what did he do the rest of the night? He prayed. He prayed. That's what the, the man's life was so conformed to Christ that that's why he was able to do the wonders that he did. And he did many, many wonders. It's a lot more to say. And kept a strict fast until the evening. It is doubtful that any one man gave so much protection and comfort as he to the Russian Orthodox people in exile after the revolution of 1917. He was an unwearying and watchful shepherd of his sheep in China, the Philippines, Europe, and America. When he was in France, there was a lot of poverty in France at the time, and uh, he, he earned the nickname St. John the Barefoot because he would always give his shoes away then somebody else would buy him a pair of shoes and he would give those shoes away. And he walked around barefoot or in thongs a lot of the times. And so he's, he's, he's known as St. John of Shanghai. He's known as St. John of San Francisco. He's known as St. John the Barefoot. Through his missionary labors, he also brought into the church many who had not been of this fold. Since his repose in 1966, he has been especially glorified by God through signs and miracles, and his body has remained incorrupt. And you can venerate his relics at the Church of Joy of All Who Sorrows in San Francisco, the church that he built. What I did not realize until just now, um, he came to America in 1962, and he served he died in 1966. I've got to make sure that this is right, but that's only four years. Mm. That's not correct, is it? No, that's got to be a mistake. Because he accomplished so much, it would take more than four years to, to accomplish. St. John, St. John is a miracle worker. He's also a man who suffered. In that way, he's very much like, like, like the Apostle Paul. Because Paul writes in the book of Thessalonians, the proof, he calls it the proof of his apostleship. We have to remember that that when Paul was preaching, he, he, there was great opposition, especially from false teachers. And people were confused sometimes about, well, is Paul really the apostle? Why should we believe you, Paul? We have the second guy and the third guy and the fourth guy making counterclaims. How do we know that you are really the apostle? And he writes us to, the, in the book of Thessalonians, 
which is, of course, the letter to the church that he established in Thessaloniki, Greece. He says, there's two signs of my apostleship. He said, the first is how much I have suffered for you. He says, if any other, other of these people suffered as much as I have for you, have anyone else given what I have to bring the gospel to you? And the answer, of course, is no. And he's, the second sign of his apostleship is the signs and the wonders, the miracles that were performed by his hand, which confirmed to the people that God was indeed with him. St. John emulated St. Paul, who em emulated Christ. We're all supposed to em emulate Christ. We're supposed to become obedient servants to, to, to Christ as, as Christ is to the Father. St. John did that. He suffered. He suffered a lot. And yet, at the, he also, in the second sign, he also did many signs and wonders, as we mentioned here already. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to go where the buses don't run. All right? So, this is not, this is just my hunch. It's just my hunch. I think that St. John is the saint over America in the same way that say, St. Dimitri, Demetrius is for Greece. I think he's the saint of America. I do. Just my opinion. I think we just don't realize that yet. And he's also the helper of, of persecuted priests. He's also their helper. In a sense, he's the bishop over all bishops. Now, I have to say, that's how I see it. The church has not recognize that. I probably should not even be saying it, but I really believe this is true. I do, and time will tell if I am. He's that powerful, and he's that active in the Church of America in all jurisdictions. And finally, the, the beautiful thing about St. John is he's really a helper to the priests in a lot of ways. You know, when, when people come to me and it's a big problem that they have. I don't know how to solve the problem. But uh, lots of times uh, we, we pray. I bring out the icon. It's in the analogia. But it's usually hanging back here on our pillar of healing saints. I bring out that icon. I set it right here. And I say, we're going to ask St. John for help. And we do. And we pray. And he has come through so many times in financial issues, legal issues, the things, really hard problems that people face in their life. And the beautiful thing I love about St. John is he always answers really quickly. Really quickly. And not always, but I would say like 80% of the time, he answers really quickly, within a day or two. Right? And, and we've seen some remarkable problems resolved through his intercessions. So, you know, God is glorified in his saints. We spoke about this yesterday. God is glorified in his saints. And a saint here for the American people is St. John Maximovich of San Francisco, the Barefoot of Sh Shanghai. So, through the prayers of St. John, May the Lord have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen.